There is nothing more than the legends of the sea world and fairy tales. A lost civilization, a legendary monster, a water whirlpool that looks like a portal that transports whoever enters it to a parallel world, ghost ships, and many others. But what happened with the Mary Celeste is neither a myth nor a fairy tale. This is a fact that happened to an American ship that was found in the open ocean, and there is no creature on it. The captain and the ship's crew disappeared without a trace, and no one saw them again because they left behind a mystery more alien than myths and fairy tales. Welcome, and in this episode, we will learn about the mystery of the ship Mary Celeste. Before we begin, if you are still new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe and activate the bell button to receive the latest video from us on November 7th, 1872 AD. The cargo ship Mary Celeste set off from New York Harbor on its way to Genoa, Italy. On board the ship were Commander Benjamin Burgess, his wife Sarah, and their two-year-old daughter Sophia, in addition to the ship's crew of eight people. The ship was loaded with about 1,700 barrels of concentrated alcohol. Less than a month later, specifically on December 4th, 1872, during the voyage of the Canadian ship De Gracia on the same route, Captain David Morehouse noticed the Hema ship in the open waters of the North Atlantic. When he looked closely, he was able to recognize the ship Mary Celeste, which had departed from New York about eight days before him. It was supposed to have already reached its destination. Morehouse was surprised that there was no movement on the deck of the ship and no signal was coming from it at all, so he decided to change his direction and go towards it. He ordered three members of his ship to embark, and when they did, the surprise was that the cargo was as it was and the ship's crew's luggage, as well as enough food and drink for about six months. However, there was no living creature on the ship, and the most important thing was missing. Besides the people, of course, that the lifeboat was not. It doesn't exist. There was no sign of fire on the ship, no trace of violence, no battle, nothing. And most importantly, the ship itself had no damage that would prevent it from sailing or reaching its destination. Everyone on the ship abandoned it without even taking their personal belongings, noting that Bergs, the captain of the ship, was an experienced captain. He has a long history in the sea world, reaching about 18 years. This is in addition to the work crew on the ship, which is all senior sailors. I mean, we are not talking about a team of amateurs. Morehouse noticed after boarding the ship that most of its papers were missing, along with the captain's navigational tools. But the ship's logbook was there, it is the log in which the ship's captain records everything related to the voyage, and the last recorded date was 8 a.m. on November 25th, meaning about nine days ago, and it was in it that the ship Mary Celeste was close to St. Mary, the southern island of a group of islands. The Azores is in the heart of the Atlantic, and since the ship's log is recorded approximately hour by hour, what happened to the Mary Celeste and her passengers happened within a period of nine days. At the time when Morehouse found the ship, the Mary Celeste had drifted about 750 kilometers from its original destination, and since then, nothing has appeared. What happened to the ship's crew, or its captain? What happened to the ship, and why did the crew flee from it, and how did they appear again? These are the questions that preoccupied public opinion and were topped by where were the newspapers at the time. Before we learn about the events that happened and try to uncover the truth about what happened, we need to take a peek. On its strange or cursed history, as some have described, the ship's history is all strange events, some of which are incomprehensible. This ship's first voyage was in 1861, meaning 11 years before the mysterious reality. At that time, the ship was under Canadian ownership and registered in the name of the Amazon, and its destination was set from the Canadian province of Nova Scotia to London. But what remains strange is that its first voyage ever was postponed after its captain fell ill and died as a result. This means that the first captain of the ship was able to take it into the water, and with the new captain, the ship sailed in the Atlantic, but was involved in an accident after it collided with fishing equipment in the European city of Eastport, USA. And after that, there was nothing. I had another accident after colliding with a ship in the English Channel, or Channel. After years of suffering for its owners and those working on it, the ship ran aground on a beach after a severe storm in October 1867. Because of the severe damage it suffered, its owners cursed it as it is after they lost hope in it. 
After that, its ownership changed more than once until it settled in American hands and was re-maintained and renamed. It was renamed Mary Celeste, and Captain Benjamin Burgess became the captain of the ship and one of its investors as well. Let us return to our main story. After inspecting the ship Mary Celeste and being unable to answer any questions related to the disappearance of the crew, Morehouse decided to take the ship to Gibraltar, 1,100 kilometers from the site. He found it because, according to the law, any person who helps in rescuing or recovering another person's ship or cargo is entitled to receive a reward commensurate with the value of the shipment and the transported property. Upon their arrival in Gibraltar, the ship was confiscated by the authorities, and a court hearing was held to study the incident, investigate its course, and reach a decision. Regarding the Moore House reward, at first the court had doubts that the matter was a game and that the disappearance of the captain, the family, and the ship's crew was related to a crime. On the floor of the ship, some red spots were found, as well as on the captain's sword, which may be blood spots. The idea suggested at the time by the public prosecutor was that the ship's crew might have gotten drunk, killed Burgess and his family, and thrown them into the water before taking the lifeboat and escaping. But the results of the inspection proved that these red spots were not blood or anything. In addition to that, no belongings had been stolen. The captain and his family, and here another theory was put forward, which is that the pirates took over the ship and killed everyone on it. But like the first claim, there is no significant sign of violence, not to mention that the cargo. As it is, eating and drinking as it is, and after three months of the start of the sessions, the ship was released, and Morehouse and his team were handed over about $8,000, and the final average of the return was about $160,000. Despite the release of the ship and no formal charges being brought against anyone, the mystery that occurred the Mary Celeste ship is still unanswered, and no one knows what happened after a few years. The English writer Conan Doyle wrote a short story based on the incident of the Mary Celeste ship, and Conan Doyle later wrote the detective Sherlock Holmes stories, although the story was originally based on a proposition. The subject is imaginative, and its plot is dramatic. But its style, like the story of the American newspaper, attracted readers, and they adopted some of its events as fact. Of course, with all the fabrication and nonsense, it is difficult to reach a logical explanation for the truth about what happened on board the Mary Celeste. And despite the fact that there are some logical explanations that have appeared in an attempt to solve the mystery, but most people are still not convinced by it and are more inclined towards the presence of unnatural reasons, and this is very understandable. Especially since, despite the efforts made to try to explain what happened after more than 150 years, there is number 100% confirmation of the truth of what happened, and it is like many secrets that exist in our world, and no one knows its truth except God Almighty. And so we continue to talk about the mystery of the ship Mary Celeste. What would you like to talk about in the following videos? Write us in the comments, and if you like the video, don't forget to like and share. For people who are seeing us for the first time, subscribe and activate the bell to receive our video. We will get you the next episode, oh, one last thing. If you would like to know more about countries, cities, family landmarks, and tourist attractions, and see you on a trip every week to a new place, subscribe. There is our channel, activate the bell, and whoever subscribes, writes in a comment under the video that there is a new traveler, peace be upon you.